Hey Yoke family, Jonathan here. Thanks for joining us on this, the first installment of Yoke's Weekly Devotions. Welcome to my home, wherever you happen to be today. I'm really glad that you've joined us, and I'm really grateful that you're part of the Yoke family. I want to talk to you today about something that is really uh, an important lesson for me, something that God's really been dealing with me about this year, but I think it's an important topic this time for our church and for our country as well. That topic is fear. I don't know if you would know this about me necessarily, but I'm kind of a worrier. I know, it's a problem. I worry about things that I have zero control over. In fact, sometimes I'll wake up in the middle of the night and I'll have a hard time going back to sleep because I'm just thinking about all these things that could possibly go wrong. So this topic is really important for me. Jesus said that the two greatest commandments are to love God and to love our neighbor. But the command that he repeated the most often is this, do not fear. In fact, I've read that that command is mentioned 365 times in scripture, one for every single day of the year. I don't know if God did that on purpose or not, but you have to admit it's kind of cool. I think we've let fear and our concern for safety completely override our purpose and our sense of mission. When that happens, safety becomes an idol. We let fear determine where we choose to live, who we allow into our lives, how we spend our money, and how we serve others. I think a major reason for this fear is that we've bought into the lie of scarcity. Scarcity says that there's just simply not enough to go around. When you believe the lie of scarcity, life becomes a zero-sum game with winners and losers. I can't root for you to succeed because that means less for me. Scarcity keeps us from reaching out to others and, and it causes us to kind of shrink in and, and try to protect what's ours. The reality is the stuff that we have isn't ours to begin with. Psalm 24 says that the earth is the Lord's and everything in it. The world and all its people belong to him. For he laid the foundation on the seas and built it on the ocean depths. Friends, we serve a God of abundance. And that should give us great courage. And that courage should then influence how we live and how we love and how we serve. Our friend Gina Thomas wrote, Scarcity kills, steals, and destroys our humanity. It is a false God that requires us to sacrifice our neighbor's best interests and allows us to justify inhumane policies. But a mentality of abundance restores our humanity. It reminds us that we are all broken human beings called to seek the flourishing of each other. I know we're living in some unique days, but our lives can still be characterized by courage. Don't hear me wrong. I want you to be smart. I want you to follow the advice of the authorities and follow these protocols that they've put in place and follow the, the proper precautions, but don't let your life this week be characterized by fear. Thanks for joining us, and I hope to see you soon.